I've had uh, people change. I'll give you two examples. Uh, the person I hired to uh, on a full-time basis <coughs> uh, from the Princeton th Seminary mm -hmm. to help me go through all the uh, bibliography and footnotes and all that, checking it out, it was a Christian. Mm -hmm. uh, I put an ad. Mm -hmm. uh, my secretary goes around in university and seminary and various places where young people are, putting an ad saying, you know, stipend for this kind of work. work. So mm -hmm. this fellow applied. He was very intelligent. He was the hardest working, probably the most intelligent assistant I ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Christian, mm -hmm. one, uh, studying to be a priest, mm -hmm. going, uh, finishing his master's, going to, uh, for a doctorate to become a missionary priest and all that. So obviously very solid in his tradition. Mm -hmm. And I told him, look, my tradition is different. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying a lot of things you won't agree with. Mm -hmm. But when you are helping me, you are stepping into my shoes mm -hmm. and trying to make it better. Mm -hmm. And when you as a Christian feel I'm doing something that won't be acceptable, mm -hmm. that will be argued against, you give me, tell me what it is and I will respond. Mm -hmm. It'll make my book better. Right. Yeah, right. we'll make my book better because you will tell me that a Christian won't like this and like that. And then, then I'll give you answers. So he said, okay, I'll, it is professional. We partition off. We learn to partition off, you know, his private life as a Christian, uh, his career and all that from his work for me. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was very professional. And I must say that I have quite a few Westerners who are able to do that, mm -hmm. more so than Indians, mm -hmm. because they get very emotional about it. Mm -hmm. So he took it strictly as a professional opportunity. In the beginning, when he read that, he was very upset. <clears throat> he came back and said, you know, I'll do it, but Christian now, no Christian think this is true. Mm -hmm. And I, I argued about this Nicene Creed business and about uh, this business of order and chaos and about how they're digesting things mm -hmm. and why this uh, tolerance is not the same as respect. He, he kind of had never heard these things before. Mm -hmm. So then we went through this phase of him discussing and me giving arguments, which actually helped my book. Mm -hmm. Because I could say, a Christian might say like that, whereas I would argue that. So I got ideas on where to respond, mm -hmm. sharpen my arguments. <clears throat> then he started entering another stage when he would actually give me more ammunition. Mm -hmm. He would say, actually, if you don't mind, I can supply you with a paragraph of more references mm -hmm. where actually there's a lot more that you can use. Mm -hmm. So he brought me ammunition mm -hmm. from his side because he's an honest guy. He was, And then we reached a stage. One day he tells me that I'm dropping out of the seminary. <laughs> he dropped out of the seminary. He just dropped. Mm. He, he didn't want to convert to anything, mm -hmm. but he said, I don't want to be a priest and spend my whole life and all that. Mm -hmm. And so he joined uh, uh, one of the top uh, law schools okay. to become a lawyer. Oh, wow. So he was researched what law, what law to join. And he says that religion law, law on religious freedom, discrimination on the grounds of religious uh, bias mm -hmm. is an area of law which is emerging mm -hmm. because there's a lot of uh, legal litigation on you know somebody from this religion got biased in a corporate life or in a, when they're building a house of worship with the government or whatever mm -hmm. so he, he's a lawyer specializing in religion Religious because he's so he can use his background mm -hmm. so that's an example of a radical transformation i can give you many such examples mm -hmm. of uh, people who dramatically change their careers it's, and i get letters from such people i meet them and they say you know you transform my life and and i also get hindus who, who didn't understand the seriousness, the gravity, or at least with the clarity. And based on some of the work I've done, they have transformed. Mm -hmm. So I'm quite happy that the impact